The Catalyst UK uh, programme is a three-year programme and it's a collaboration between Hewlett Packard Enterprise um, and the three universities. Modern research is based very much on computational science. We're very excited about the Catalyst programme because it gives us a new processor to use for that kind of research activity. Catalyst as a programme um, is exposing a large number of academic users and industrial users to the ARM technology and technology of the partners in the Catalyst programme to help them deploy some real live scientific applications. We're seeing that the um, processor works and the user interface is very similar and it runs the standard operating systems. We're particularly interested in how easy it is for users to get their, uh, their own codes to uh, be up and running on these systems. What we've seen so far, and we're just about to publish a paper at the PASC conference on this, is that many codes perform exactly as we expect. The collaboration between the Catalyst partners and ARM has really enabled us to accelerate some of our development. What we've seen in Catalyst so far, you know, with, with the, uh, with the uh, Thunder X2 processors on the Apollo 70, is that there are certainly some workloads that are quite performant when you're doing it with ARM. The real surprise to me about the whole Catalyst program is that it's been much easier than we expected. Certainly we're seeing that there are codes that are showing very, very promising performance on ARM. I would say that people that do a lot of data intensive codes would naturally now have to look at ARM as a viable alternative. 